we ask our guys at tight end and fullback to do a lot. Uh, they've got to be physical dominant blockers first. Uh, they've got to be adequate in pass protection. We use our, our, our fullback as a protector quite a bit. Um, and they also have to be dynamic receivers. We we ask our guys to maneuver. We ask our guys to make guys miss, whether it's catching the ball in the flat, uh, whether it's on an outcut, an in cut, whatever. Um, so we do a lot. You know, they call themselves the Gladiators. That's their name. And uh, and they do that because Gladiators have to do a little bit of everything to survive. You know, you can't be a, just an offense guy. You can't be just a defensive guy to survive as a Gladiator. And I've never seen a Gladiator that, that knew what he was doing that was dead. You know, the ones that know what they're doing seem to survive. So um, I think that's a pretty adequate name for our guys. It's been a while. I've been here for this is my fifth year. Uh, started out as a receiver. Been a long journey, but man, I'm excited to get this underway. Uh, we got a young group coming in, but I'm excited to lead them. I think we got a bunch of seniors that are ready to go. Real excited, real. They got a lot of just passion and energy ready to win this year and come out and give it our best for our last go around. I'd like to think of myself as a receiving tight end, but like I think I've come a long way used to, man. I, I came out here as a receiver. It took me a while to get used to blocking, but I think I can kind of handle up, hold my own these days on blocking, and then I like to think that I got a little bit of fluidness in my routes. So I, I like to do a little bit of both. Hey, Jamie's a senior. Um, Jamie's come a long way. Uh, came in as a 205 pound receiver. Uh, he's about 245, 250 pounds right now. Works his butt off. Uh, phenomenal worker. Um, really come on as a blocker in the last couple of years. Has great hands. Uh, probably some of the best on the team. Um, always seems to find a way to get open. Uh, really proud of the work that Jamie has put in. Um, and as a leader also. He shows these guys how it's supposed to look. Off the field probably even more so than on the field. Uh, phenomenal dude. Um, you know, Cody's a guy that we moved over from quarterback. Uh, he's done a good job. He's a big kid. Uh, I think he weighed in this morning at 254. Um, you know, and so he, he brings some some added dimension to our position. I mean, you get a big guy with length like that. Uh, he's, again, got great hands. Uh, he's learning how to block. You can imagine going from quarterback to tight end. It's slightly different on the physicality level, but, uh, but he's really coming. Uh, you know, a couple other guys uh, – you know, Hunter Griffith has come in as a freshman. He's learning tight end and fullback for us. Uh, done a great job. He's just learning. You know, we're, I think, 13 practices in now. Um, so so he's got a long way to go. But the kid's a football player. He, he's a good one, and we're looking forward to him. Uh, Liam Flowers is another guy for the spring that uh, did a great job through the spring. Uh, he's been a little dinged up here during fall camp, so uh, he hasn't done a lot. But when he was in, he was doing a great job. Uh, so we're, we're looking for things for him. Uh, a couple other guys to mention, Sam Lawless moved over from linebacker. He's playing some fullback for us, done a good job. Another good athlete, was a high school quarterback, uh, also played linebacker, um, came in for us last year, played some linebacker. We moved him over to fullback this fall camp. Again, he's learning the ropes. He's learning how to do things, but he catches the ball really well, um, and he's got that linebacker mentality. Mason Heights, a guy that moved over from linebacker also, kind of in the Emory Duden Singh type mold, uh, shorter, stockier guy. Um, but but he'll drop a hat on you. So, you know, we've got a bunch of different body types that can do a lot of different things, and we're just trying to figure out how to use their skill sets to to make this offense roll. We got a bunch of passionate young guys, man. They're coming in here working hard. It's just taking them some time to take a step from high school to college football. It's a big. We have a big playbook. So once they start learning what we got going as an offense here, we got some dudes that can go. Yeah, I mean, I think we, we first off have to be great blockers in the run game. I think that's that's kind of where we make our money, we hang our hat. We've got to do well in the run game uh, to open up our play action stuff, and that's when those guys get open. That's when they get balls. Um, and then they just got to be where they're supposed to be. You know, with a new group, uh, they may not know the offense exactly like some of these older guys did. You know, you, you think you lose Jonathan Parker, you lose Noah Cheshire. Um, you know, those, those guys knew it. They knew exactly what they were doing. These guys may not so much, but – as they keep continuing and progressing, they'll get better and better. And, you know, ultimately we got to be in the right spot. we got to make plays and we're called to make plays and we've got to be physical. we got to go out there and just be confident. We'll go up to Fresno and they're not going to know who we are, but we know who we are. And they're going to find out real fast who we are. And we got to go in there and just be confident and do, just do right. Like we don't got to do anything crazy, just do right. And we got some dudes that can go and we'll be all right.